Hello. This video is to explain how Gauge kits can work inside of Gauge Pack 13. So Gauge Pack has had the capability to work with something called groups in the past. This has been a great way to clump together a variety of gauges for one purpose, which could be calibrating them all at once or issuing them all out or returning them all at one time. One downside to the group field is that it's only singular, meaning a gauge can only be a part of one group at a time. So imagine I wanted to take all of my maintenance scales and do a checkout event because they're all gonna be serviced. I could potentially go to my events. I could select the group checkout. And when I do that, I get the option to select from the group dropdown. In my particular occasion, let's go ahead and pick maintenance scale. So now I have a multi checkout event. And if I take a look at the gauges tab, it is selected three gauges. Because all three of those particular gauges in question are part of this maintenance scale group. So that actually works really well. And that's been in gauge pack for a number of years. So the one downside though, is you can only pick one group at a time. Well, that's where the new feature of kits comes into play. So you can tell your gauge pack and your database that you'd like to utilize kits. I'm gonna click on file at the very top. We'll head down and click on settings. When the settings window appears, we're gonna first navigate to the global collection section. And down at the bottom, the very last bullet point says kitting. So in kidding, you have to first tell GagePack you would like to use this feature. So I'm going to check the box to enable kidding. And you can see in my sample database, I already have a few different kits that I've made. So when you first begin, this section may be blank, but that's okay. You can click the add. Add will allow you to create a brand new kit with whatever name and description if you want. So let's go with something new, maybe K002. The description for this could be really anything you want. I'm just going to type in the word example. Now below that you have the ability to select which gauges should be belonging to this kit. You could leverage the quick search to quickly look up things like calipers. You could also leverage the filter. So if you already have some filters for things like depth gauges, uh, gauges that belong to a particular group, department, you can leverage those so you can easily see them and then select which ones you want. So this one, if I hit okay, it's a brand new kit, K002. I only selected three and I gave it a name of, or excuse me, a description of example. If I hit save and exit, now, whenever I open up any of my gauges, just by double clicking, you'll notice that I have an additional tab now for kits. This is where we're gonna be able to assign gauges to particular kits or just see which kits a gauge belongs to. The giant advantage that kits has over a er, group is that you can have multiple kits be associated with one gauge. So if I click on the add kits button, I can see that I've got a kind of a number of kits that already exist, including my new one. And I can say that it should also be part of that kit. So now this gauge DG03004, it's actually a member of two kits simultaneously. That really just gives me the flexibility that when it comes time to do any sort of check-ins or check-outs or even do a potentially group calibrate, I could leverage those kits. So the same form exists instead of picking group this time, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the kit that I want. If I take a look at the tab, I have four items because I actually added an additional one while we were talking. So if I want, I can say that this is a kit checkout. Put in any other additional notes, just like I would normally do for checkout events. I could say they're all now in use location is going to be line two, and so forth. 
So now all of those gauges, they're just been checked out. They say line two. I can even take a look at my history. It's letting me know that those are now checked out. And I did it based on a kit checkout. Some other nice things that come with the kitting is the ability to make new filters and those filters could be based on particular kits. So I could do a kit lookup. I also have a new variety of reports. So by clicking on the reports tab, if I wanna save myself some trouble, I can click on the report category, go down to inventory, and you'll find three new reports, kit details, history, and kit membership. Kind of three different flavors and varieties of information. So with this, I think you'll find that kits are a great advantage over a group, and it's gonna give you more flexibility to work with GagePack in the future. Thank you.